six, man. Huh. Welcome to Upside Down Six. Probably the best place for looks to turn. So long, my mom. Oh, so I wanted to go on about Terminator Six again. Obviously, because I love this stuff. It's what my channel's about. Take note that I've had to get rid of my old videos because I can't get AdSense on them because I, I used to use Terminator theme tunes and stuff like that. So I've got rid of all that now and I just make me the odd picture and music that YouTube provides. Thanks YouTube for making my life well, for making me have to waste loads of videos, but hey, it's how it is, it's how it is. Even though I was doing the same as everyone else. Anyway, this is Upside Down 6. So, I sit down and think about this stuff a lot because I do a Terminator 6 channel. Well, the, uh, a lot of my stuff is Terminator 6. But, they've been filming in Budapest. This is what the point is. They've been filming in Budapest. Indoors, green screen, blue screen, whatever they use nowadays. And I'm thinking, okay, yeah. This is the perfect time for the future war. I reckon we've got more chance of a substantial, sizable future war. Tim Miller knows that the fans want future war. And I think indoors, what better place to get our future war scene than indoors in Budapest because like I said they've done a lot of it indoors they went and did outside scenes at the water reservoir and then they've done the interior of the reservoir in Budapest everything they've done interior wise is being done in Budapest so future war will be done in Budapest and it's the best place this is why I know we are going to get a substantial future war scene. And I'm talking 10, 15 minutes of future war. If I'm wrong. But anyway, yeah. It's so, it's so much easier to do. I mean, when they were doing future war scene in Terminator 2, when they're doing the air cannons and blowing up all the cars and that, it was two and a half days to reset the scene to film it again. So basically, set it all up for two and a half days and then woof, film that split second of the cars being blown over by the nuclear shock wave or whatever it is and then two and a half days to reset it. That's insane. Today, it's so simple. It's insane how simple it is today. It has changed so much. And I mean, I, I love that scene in Terminator 2 where the nuclear bomb goes off some of its computer graphics where you see it plowing through the big buildings from an angle and then you see the actual the actual built frame metal framed buildings and the air cannon that and the air cannons the people huddled up into leaves and stuff like that but it's all models a tiny bit of computer graphics and the rest of its models no wonder it took so long to film and no wonder we got such a short future war it's because it was so hard to do, nearly impossible to do, and so expensive to do. Nowadays, it's lay it out, get the odd little prop here and there, blue green screen in the background, get the lads in the computer graphics in Blur Studios or whoever, and then jobs are good in. So I think, and I truly believe, we are going to get a future war. Talking to Terminator 2. I should have killed the T-1000. T-1000. Hey, 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 Picture the scene. Here. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's. Hasta la vista, baby. Goodbye. And then smash, smashes into pieces. All set up for him to, the T-1000 to melt, mold back together. And start pursuing. No, he should have just walked up to the frozen body, picked him up, took him over to the blooming molten lava, and gone BOF! Piff off! Probably how you should have killed the T1000! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, next 
next video, if you want to see some of the behind the scenes stuff, that'll be linked up at the end. But until next time, this is Upside Down 6, and I shave my nose. Be good.